Hi, I'm Alison Pryor and welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel. As you can see in my channel, I do have different subjects and today I wanted to talk about the castor oil. Now, I see all over the videos all over YouTube about castor oil and how it's a miracle worker and everything like that. And it was just a few things I just want to tell you not to do, in my opinion. Um, castor oil is very good. I like it. I use it. And... Uh, but the first thing I tell you not to do is not to drink it because if you take castor oil while you're pregnant for sure it could bring you into labor because when I was pregnant that's what they tried to give me in order to um, bring my labor on because I was late but uh, I couldn't swallow it it's, it's just like drinking mineral oil and things so I wouldn't suggest drinking it for sure this is the brand that I use it's just called uh, it says NOW castor oil 100% pure and they suggest you get organic too, right? So um, what I do with this, I will suggest, I, I've seen them on, uh, you know, on videos on YouTube saying they plaster it all over the bodies and everything, right? But uh, it's really sticky, really thick. Okay, so I do use it. Um, my face is nice and clear. I use some on my face, not all over my face. It's just too sticky, it's too thick. But what I do, so this is another thing you should, I wouldn't do is like I said, you know, it's too thick. I wouldn't plaster it all over my body. I uh, see how thick it is, right? It's, it's it's really really thick. So you put that on your face or on your body, it's going to be really sticky, and you won't be able to put your your makeup on and things like that. So what I do to solve that problem, and which is very good, is I put some in the drop of my hand, and then I will take my jojoba oil. I love this stuff. It makes my face so smooth. And uh, so I'll take a, a drop of that, just a small drop, because it's only your face, right? So I take a drop of that and mix it with my, with my castor oil, and it makes it really nice and smooth. And I'll rub it around in the palm of my hand. <laughs> I picked up some something up my pencil there, because I'm in my art room. And so I put in my hand, and then I Mix it around and then you can put on your face and under your makeup and even over your makeup a little bit too. You want a little bit of a shine there. And in the nighttime before I go to bed, so I don't wear it all day, you know, I might put it under my makeup a little bit. Uh, but I also, I, I mostly use the jo Joba oil for during the day so that I can put on my makeup and make it nice and smooth. But uh, so in the nighttime before I go to bed, I will put some upon my hand, castor oil, and whatever oil you want to use. You can even use mineral oil. Mix it together and then put it on your face and your neck if you want. And then you won't have it, you know, then when you get morning, wash it off. And then you can just use your, you can use your favorite oil. And then you can put a little bit of that on your face with your favorite moisturizer. And then, but I wouldn't suggest putting castor oil all over your body or... You know, and, and play, especially on your face, because you, your makeup will stick, your your face will stick. If you put castor oil all over your body, your clothes will stick to it. It'll be, it won't, it's just messy. <laughs> but, you know, like I've tried um, castor oil on some dry spots. I have a little bit of eczema behind my ears and stuff. And I tried it on that. And, it were, you know, it does take it away, but not permanently. Like, they, I think sometimes they give you the impression that it takes away permanently, but I think it will come back after you stop using it. It's it's like anything else, any creams, even prescriptions. Sometimes your doctors give you, use it on your dry, and and after your dry patches, you don't use it anymore. It'll probably come back after a while. It's just eczema, you know, dry skin. It's kind of, and especially you live in the, the winters here. So this one here. This is my favorite, all-time favorite, okay? This is not oil and it's not castor oil. But it is my favorite. I've been using it for 10 years. My daughter introduced me to it when she uh, was using on her baby, my granddaughter. Grandson, actually. Grandson. And um, a little bit of rash. So she showed me. She was putting on it. And I had a rash on my face. So I didn't know what was going on. So what happened was she said, try this, Mom. And I tried this Aveeno baby. Now, there's one for an adult, too. But I uh, want to... I started using baby Aveeno. Uh, it says for eczema care and moisturizing cream. And I've been using this for 10 years. And I used to have, I used to have breakouts and everything and dry patches. And, and this is fantastic. 
This is my, this I put this on my face every day, sometimes two or three times a day. If I don't have makeup on, I'll, I'll put some on every now and then. I'll put on my dry patches and they will go away, but they will come back once I stop using it, okay? So I don't want to give any false information or, you know, tell you something that I don't know much about. I'm not a doctor or anything, but clinically proven to relieve itchy, irritated skin due to eczema and it works. I really believe it really works. It helps take away the itch. It takes the, it takes the, like a bit of rash behind my ear and, and it's so sore, like you can't even touch it. So when I put this on, it goes away, it takes a day or two. And if you put on your feet, like if you've got really dry feet and you got, you know, those thick calluses and things, if you, if you, you know, wipe those calluses off a bit and you put this on, your feet goes, goes like instantly soft, right? It's like instant, right? But once you stop using it, the dry patches will start coming back again. So why don't you know that? But I keep using it because no matter what you use, if you've got eczema or it, it just keeps, it just keeps coming back. But this keeps it at bay, okay? You know, bath uh, for my children when they were younger and had been dry skin. So I just wanted to, um, I just want to let you know that about the uh, castor oil because I'm seeing a lot of it on YouTube. And um, I just want to let you know what I do. And uh, I really like it. And um, I use it, like I said, on my face, on my dry patches. And but you got to continuously use it. See, like you can give, take it once your dry patch goes away. Then you can take you can take a break from it for a while. And then when they start to feel it come back, put it back on again. So you know, or put it on every night on your skin, on your face, before you go to bed, mixed with a bit of Joe, whatever kind of oil you want. Okay, I'll leave some links if you if you like what I got there. So that's about it. I just want to let you know that and um, I hope it helped, you know, leave it in the comments section if you've used any of this stuff and what you thought about it and what you think about castor oil because it's getting very popular, you know, the last few years people have been really talking about it as if it's a miracle, but uh, not always, you know, I mean, you just got to uh, do some research yourself before you start, you know, listening to uh, people who, because it might be good for them but it may not be good for you. So just do lots of research before you use anything or put anything inside your body or anything like that. And uh, so I hope this helped. And I hope Bye. for now from Alison Pryor. Well, thank you so much for watching my video today. And if you liked my video, you can give me a like, you can share my video, and you can subscribe and press the notification button so you can get lots more videos like you've seen today. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye.